Hey guys, it's Sens, and this is uh, another tutorial on Content Aware. Content Aware is like, well, something you can get from this, just one picture, to that, where loads of things are deleted, like magically, magic Photoshop, or even this, where there's like nothing. Oh my god! No, anyway. Um. I'll just show you how to do it, really. Well. Okay, you got your background layer, or you can just make it a normal layer, double click it, a normal layer, yeah, and then just zoom in if you want, and you want to cut around, or like select around, as close as possible to the edges of what you want to make disappear, with the polygon tool, the pen tool, the lasso tool, magnetic lasso, anything that uh, makes a marquee selection. I'm just going to use the polygon tool. So I want to get rid of the dice logo, carefully around it, and then go to edit, fill, or you could do shift F5, and then where it says foreground colour, go to content aware. Oh yeah, if you don't have this, it's probably because you don't have CS5, and you can only do it on CS5, so. Unlucky if you don't! No. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. And click OK, and it's gone. Like magic. Pretty cool. You can do it on loads of stuff. But I'm also going to be teaching how to use a clone tool. I'll just show another example, like another small bit. Shift F5, content aware, and it's gone. I'll try it on something bigger, like this tank. Make sure you tightly select around it otherwise it might warp because content aware doesn't actually know what's meant to be there it just kind of guesses I don't know how it works if you know tell me because it's quite cool but I don't know try out something bigger oh it didn't work it came up with the man if that happens just like you can just go over it again I think that works, that's what works for me and content aware, and then yeah, it's gone. And do it to this guy. And then yeah, he's gone. It's just like that. Also, if the content aware doesn't work for you, you can also use the clone tool, which is here below the brush tool. Make sure you have a clone stamp, not pattern stamp. And it's like a brush. And what you do is it basically takes part of the photo and you can put it over another bit of the photo but you can make it so it looks like it's meant to be there. I'll show you an example. Hold Alt and then you get this cool right aimer and click where you want it to copy from and then when you start brushing it's like it like pastes the other what the, the the picture from that bit you clicked on like from the when you click the brush. I'll just show you. So it like goes right over him, but then, as you can see, another guy is here because I clicked it right by him. But if I do it like, you c I could do it like this, and it looks like he's not there. Just try loads of different bits. Experiment with it. Hold Alt to get this aim thing to choose where you're doing it from. And I could look, put like a tank over him if I wanted to. Oh no, there you go, a tank. Just looks a bit stupid that. I don't know, just test around with it and you could get something quite cool yeah that's clone stump tool yeah I'm not really saying much that's pretty much all there is to know really Just it's just practice like try loads of different ways of doing stuff, mess around this is just the basics. And there you go. Um, my next tutorial will be... I can't remember. Maybe 3D text? I don't know. No, that's not it. Bringing a picture from Photoshop into Cinema 4D and putting the image on it and all that because a lot of people are asking. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.